doing something now. Alrighty. Time for a You know what, before I do this, I'm going to do this one more time with this. Floor 4. Mm, this is a nice balance of offense and defense. Say, mm, not particularly direct offense, but does count as offense. For Zelda, this is one of those where it's more about annoying the enemy than actually attacking them. 7 of 7. This is one of the that I actually uh, made an effort to uh, seriously set up as a proper melee fighter. Or well, that's what you would think based on the actual move set. And for some reason, he has a, play, a piercing beam right. Why did I get? Oh yeah, that's right. When I did this, I was half asleep. Yeah, seriously, rewatching uh, the thing that I did for this was just painful. And I was listening to myself talk, and I'm like, what was I even going to do? Oh. I was there, and I still have no idea. Anyways, moving on. Okay, so 7 of 7. This is something that's set up for a melee build. He just has a random plasma piercing gun right now. Um, well, my inventory is full. I need to fix that. Hmm. As much fun as the ground patrol is, it does give you a significant number of items. Put it mildly. To be quite honest, I don't actually care about capture sandwiches, but... Um... I'd rather not have it turn into a trouble at the moment. I don't need to. Anyways. All right. Uh, when I was doing Delta Recruit stuff on this character last time, I got EV suits, which I'm going to give to someone. Hey, he has an AC. For Thay and yourself. This is a character where I actually have a ground team that are all liberated for. My character isn't liberated for. He's a remit. But all of his uh, minions are. And yes, I upgraded her to an elite bridge officer just to find out what would happen if you upgraded this particular unique bridge officer to an elite version. Spoiler! Uh, about the same thing as would happen if you uh, did most of the other four. In other words, not much. It does something, but it, you know, or superior. Okay, superior efficiency is one of those things that I didn't even know existed until I did this experiment. Because this is apparently the only way to get it. Why? I don't know. I genuinely don't think superior efficiency existed before they made elite bridge officers. I think that uh, that making super versions of existing uh, traits is actually one of the benefits of elite bridge officers. Because stuff like superior for nanites, where the, did that come from? Anyways. So, um, yeah, I was trying to find places to give EV suits. All of my ground team bridge officers already have one, so I'm just going to give them to randos who don't have EV suits so that they can hold on to them and get them out of my inventory. I don't feel like using them, but given what you have to do in order to get them, I don't feel like throwing them away either. This crap, though. 
have an account unlocked that I can use to give all of my uh, bridge officers uh, personal shields. So unless it's a special shield, I don't care. Like a personal mobility shield. You can't salvage those. You have to vendor trash them or use them. Well, I mean, you can give them to them. These are technically better than uh, normal shields because of the fact that they have an inherent modifier that's unremovable and thus they are slightly better than a um, regular shield note how I said slightly better Not much. but you know I actually can't um I was I can't dismantle them for r &D. Okay, that's enough uh, messing around with stuff. I have cleared an adequate amount of space to do a Bozeman job. So, this particular team, not great on offense. Oh, wait, that's right. I was going to change seven to use a melee weapon. Wait, already my ground team I'm using it right. Uh, they, four, four, and Cresselva all make sense as ranged attackers. Lenara, yeah, you can use that because you're not on ground, so who cares? Um Cresselva has the duelist set. Four of four. Uh weird random combat uh collection of things. Uh Kintari armor is actually shockingly less terrible than the Tanky's version. The key with the Kintari armor is that the bonus hit points and uh, temporary hit points effect are actually pretty good. Of course, the temporary hit points thing can get you the two piece, and she doesn't have that, so uh, it doesn't have that. As is, it's not. It gets a lot better with that. They. They has the Imperial Assault set. Well, a three piece bridge. It's because bridge officers can't actually use all four pieces of it because it's uh, the only set in the game with two weapons. Piercing Beam Rifle. Like I mentioned before, this guy's setup makes more sense as a melee. Anyway, so who actually has a melee weapon with my bridge officers? You know, I could give him so something like this as a gag item, but I want to give him a melee weapon to actually deal with it. Found a bridge officer that doesn't have a weapon at all. You can have this. Those are weird. Actually, hold on. Can this one be up? No. It's one of the handful of items in the game that is episode loot that you cannot upgrade. I don't know why. Hmm. So, he does not have a melee weapon, needs a melee weapon, and none of my bridge officers is actually using a melee weapon. Hmm. The only melee weapon that I have that's actually even close to good is that uh, old size stun that Fat left. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I recently managed to find a Gnostic into Golar. Uh, I figured out that there is actually a way to get them that's reasonably reliable. So there is a, a source for them still in the game. Most of the normal sources don't work though, which is a massive bummer. But there is at least one way to get them still. Um, 
Anyway, okay. Seven gets to use my size stun bat left in. Or, or, uh, whatever. Funny thing is that upgrading it to Mark 15 does actually change the uh, psionic damage proc. So that's something. Anyways. Alrighty then. Let's get on with this. Good, you made it. I wasn't looking forward to dealing. Okay, the. Right, let's get moving. So we need to get I have to the a complex team of four quickly. Uh, Borg and so much for the bombing run. Enterprise must have finished off the Borg vessel. My character's build is set up kind of like a cycle. Yeah, I just realized something. I have that intel power that randomly all this time, they still haven't learned. Resistance is mixed inevitable. with other powers that cluster. It's just really. Strange. Uh, yeah, I think we're trying to auto target and then also to just check the survivors and invalid target something. Wait, why is Oh, no. Seven to nine was healing because she was going to max. How about then? To be honest, that um, intel power that scatters any Borg life signs in the complex. really isn't one of the better ones. Cardinals people should be here it now. has uses. Make sure before we move on. But giving it to a bridge officer means it's wasted most of the time. And I have to question why I it's up, there are drones ahead. have it. Oh, I know why. Are you will be Very specific reason why I haven't gotten rid of it yet. Uh, it's what the bridge officer came with. And I haven't changed that. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure it's Griselda. Because Griselda is the only one on my team that actually uses intel powers. They uses temporal, and the other two aren't actually using spec powers. And Griselda is one of the Delta Ops uh, bridge officers. And all of the Delta Ops bridge officers came with intel. Yeah, I know. I'm not actually using uh, any of my pets. I really should do that. Also, I probably should have swapped out the folded space uh, thingy uh, because I really have no use for folded space translocator in this map. There's there literally there. nothing it's I would like want to camp teleport some to. The Borg will be drawn to it like moths to a flame. We need to protect the locals. We can have life signs ahead. Some of them are Borg. Well, what do you want? Get away from well, us! Well, that was kind of will be assimilated. You will adapt to something collective. What the hell are those things? Robots? Yeah. Zombies? Robot zombies? This fire chain Spray attack is like actually stupid. Take out those good. drones. Get something behind me. I know what it really is, is that it, it, the game sees it as being on screen. And, and it's targeting what's closest to you that's on screen. Just that on screen isn't something that I'm actually.
Yeah, the explosive drone. Honestly, having that mixed with a bridge officer that uses that stupid temp uh, intel power to scatter your enemies really doesn't work because explosive drone is a lot like a grenade in that it relies on enemies being clustered. I'm going to need to do a memory wipe on the locals. They can't remember the board. It's just that unlike a grenade, Setting your tricorder to emit a neurolytic drone, work. Uh, runs towards your enemy like a suicide. I'm actually gonna watch. Do I have something on hand? Like, oh. This says she's using photonic decoy. What's scattering the enemy? doesn't do it. No. 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 Paradox bomb. Um, it's just clusters in these. Um, this makes enemies unable to run away from the center of wherever she dumps it. Uh, I don't know. I wonder if the, 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 the issue is that I have two powers pulling enemies at the same time. And sometimes it just, like, over pulls them or something. Looks like the Borg of Chain. Looks like the Borg right, this area is clear. We can have Borg signals then. to the north. Well, moving on. I do have to say, the way that they, they made this water look misty is actually really cool. The way that the water is sometimes sideways. Yeah. Apparently, resource node 01 is a garbage dump. It smells wonderful. There must be something of tactical value here. Make sure they don't think. Great, this place smells and it's swarming with drones. Take them down. Ooh, that was impressive. Let's see if we can figure out what they were looking for here. Yeah, yeah, same one I usually end up doing. For some reason, that Power one drone there, uh, in that spot tends to be the last one I kill because she's just out of the way. And she's far enough from the center that uh, hitting the center of the room with an AOE Copper and tubing. everything doesn't uh, kill her. That actually looks like copper and tubing. lithium batteries. Oh, hell. I think I know what their point. The complex isn't... Frosty bits. One of the most useful event items ever. I still remember when these had a one hour time limit. That was lame. No sign of the Borg. Run a scan. Make sure Picard's team is all accounted Oops. for. up Starfleet comm badges inside the bar and hold on more Starfleet yeah this three yeah, enemies on board in them. using the electric pulse wave really really good as the, the electric pulse waves um, the bulk of its damage comes from the scattering effect, which is basically just arc lightning that comes to Oh, 
four of four put a shield generator all the way over there. Why? Fair to say the boy. Again, artificial demons. It's best to, to just give them stuff that you know that they can't screw up too badly. But, you know, okay. Perimeter's being clear. able to, to guess what transmission counts towers uh, next stop. won't screw it up too badly is a uh, large part of the fun in this. Whoops, wrong button. Again. Yeah, this electric pulse wave thing uh, needs to be modulated like crazy. I think it's it's a triggering remodulation both on the actual attack hitting and the uh, scattering field. I mean, that's just. But it seems to need a lot to get it. Get me to the first array and I'll start disabling their transport. Using a simple modulating cipher. All right, this one's done. Let's go. Um, all right, touch this. Those guys are dead now. They're onto us. Security protocols just spiked and not in a Really? Oh, now it. Oh, maybe it wasn't letting me do it because there was a bit uh, decided to do it. Yeah, it's okay. That last one's going to be a real bitch. No, I can't remind you. That's good. Actually completed the ground healing endeavor. Uh, okay. I think we're through the worst of it. I'm not picking up any Borg activity in the area. Nice work. Alrighty then. And that was the Elite Postman Patrol. Uh, yeah. I'm really not sure what was causing the enemies to get scattered like that. I, it looked like it was happening when one of my bridge officers activated the ability, but, but I don't see any ability any of them have that should be doing it. Kind of puzzling. Ah, uh, well. Okay, uh, so this character has most of all of the uh, things. I guess Terran is the one he has the most. Over, as far as you're concerned. Uh, I am not the jet light. No, I'm not the jet light. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I need to make a more space.
Hey, that's hilarious. It has an invisible wall to prevent me from standing on top of this object, but not an invisible wall to prevent me from standing on this tiny ledge on the side of the object. Uh, screwball. Any, anyways, we're done here. I think we're through. Over. Honestly, defensively, this one uh, went very well. 